What's up guys, my name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot and today we're going to be running through wiping your server, both the map and the VPs, one or the other, using game servers. It's a little bit different to wiping your own normal server, but this one's specifically for game servers. If you'd like to see how to BP wipe or map wipe your local server hosted on your local computer or another computer, then there'll be a video linked down in the description below. However, this one is specifically for game servers. So say today is Thursday or just a day that you want to wipe the map or the BPs, how exactly do you go about doing that with a Rust server that you have on game servers? Well, you may be tempted to head across to your dashboard, head across to info, and then you may be tempted to click a reinstall server and check the full wipe tick box. Well, while this would work for clearing the map and the BPs, this is not the correct way of doing it. Why? Because clicking this reinstall server button, as well as the full wipe checkbox, will remove absolutely everything. Note here, custom configs and maps. That means all of your plugins, all of your plugin configs. And if you've put a lot of time into setting those up as you would on any server, you'll notice that all of your hard work has vanished in the snap of a finger. I'd highly recommend you back up your files and keep them safely always before updating, especially if you don't completely know what you're doing. If you know exactly what you're doing, I still recommend you keep a backup at least somewhere. That being said, this is not where you do it. So I'm simply going to uncheck the full wipe button. However, I'm going to keep this page open because we will need it in a short bit. Heading into my server, if I enter no clip, fly around, you can see exactly what the map looks like. Opening up my map, you can get a general idea of what's happening. And if I were to go ahead and wipe the server using the method I'm about to show you, the map itself will not change at all. However, all of the player buildings and items will change. So let's fly across to a place that I can easily remember. And I'll stick here in the top right of B12. So right over here, B12 on the beach. I'm going to go ahead and build myself a little structure. So with this terrible little shack complete, I'm going to show you exactly how you would go ahead wiping the map, all of the player objects, and how to wipe player inventories, blueprints, etc, etc, if you want to do that. So let's go ahead and demonstrate that. Remembering where I am, B12. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect right over here. So next up, you'll need a FileZilla or direct file access to the server. Assuming though this is a game servers only tutorial, I'll have to use FileZilla. Next up, we'll be heading into server, the name of the server, and you'll have these files over here. We have the map itself, procedural map, and this is where all of the player items, etc., are stored. Then we have the player identities, that word that'll get me demonetized, blueprints, and then some config up here. Of course, you won't be removing config or this SV files file over here. However, we will be deleting procedural maps. So the map, the save file, and all three of these databases up here. Of course, if you only want to wipe the map, you'll leave these three databases at the top. And if you only want to wipe a BPs, you'll be deleting these three things from the top over here, leaving the map and the save file down here. However, let's go ahead and remove absolutely everything. I'm going to go ahead and make a new folder on my local PC, call it backup, and drag and drop everything across from here into here. That being said, you really should also have a backup of your Oxide folder right about now. Once you've done that, let's head back to where we want it to be, and let's go ahead and wipe all of these over here. However, before deleting these straight up, we need to head into our game servers console. Then we'll be clicking stop server over here in the left hand side of the info page. Once you've clicked that, the Rust server should stop and you should still have FTP access. So the server is now stopped. Checking to see if we still have FTP access, we do. And checking the Archon, we have lost connection. So the server is now offline. So let's go ahead and delete the map files as well as the database files up here. Done. Next up, let's head across to our game servers page again, and we'll simply hit restart server over there on the info page. Then all we need to do is wait for the server to start up and generate the map yet again. And then once it's done, all we need to do is reconnect to the server itself, and we'll see that it's successfully been wiped. While we're loading, checking FileZilla, if we go ahead and refresh the server files over here, you can see a brand new map file, save file, and these three databases over here. Comparing them to the one on my computer, you can see the names are the same. That's because the seed hasn't been changed and the file sizes are quite different indeed. So entering no clip and flying from here over to B12 where we disconnected before, you can see that our base should have been over here. 
However, it is completely empty. The rocks around it have changed. However, the main geography of the island has remained exactly the same. So that being said, let's go ahead and roll back the server to the previous save file. So we'll have our inventory back and we'll have our building back as well as everything on the map. Of course, this will work now because there hasn't been a major update. However, if there's a major or minor update from Rust and there's a forced server wipe, I'm not exactly sure if it'll work. And if it even does work, things may break quite dramatically. So let's go ahead and disconnect it across to our game servers page and stop the server yet again. So stop server. And now the Rust server has successfully been stopped. Heading back to FileZilla, simply refresh the folder. And let's go ahead and delete all of the map files out of here. Then let's go ahead and drag all of the map files and databases back into the server. And once the upload is complete, then let's head back to game servers and click restart server. Server restarted, please allow 15 to 30 seconds for the server to load. Awesome. Once that's done, let's simply head back into our Rust, hit retry connection and connect back to the server. Then we'll wake up in a strange place. But entering into Noclip, you can see that the island itself is different. My building is not here. However, I think that's because I stopped the server without in fact saving it first. That didn't go exactly to plan, but it should have worked if I had actually typed in one of the save commands before I went ahead and stopped the server just by ending the process. Should have saved it first. Anyways, my name's been Techno here for Troubleshoot. I hope this video helps you in one way or another. And that's about it. I'll see you all next time. Ciao.